Welcome to this vlog. Whoo! Okay, I do this every time where I'm like, it's not that bad. I can still run. Way too hot. Oh, good thing I didn't bring you. I just took you on a little walk, brought him back in. Then I ran. I'm like, I can do it. It's literally 81 degrees out, and I feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> okay, we did it. We made it back. Feeling good. Okay. <laughs> Please look at my face an actual tomato right now. I feel like I never get like this when I run. Usually my sister and I working out together growing up, she'd always be like, how come I have a tomato face and you don't? But I'm like sprinting and it's 80 degrees out. There you go. Also, you may notice, maybe not, it's gotten better. Had a water stain on this couch. I've been working on it. It's better, not perfect. I gotta do another like treatment. Anyway, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> it's later, I'm all showered and clean i was terribly sweaty from my run earlier and i just to show you guys i got the most exciting shipment from the home depot that just got here today a couple of boxes and this is so exciting i'm actually partnering with the home depot on this video thank you so much for sponsoring this is just so full circle i just have to say this first and foremost because when i told my sister that i got this opportunity she was like i'm literally tearing up right now Right now like if, why do I feel like I'm gonna be emotional she was just like I'm so proud and she was like our dad would be so proud because the Home Depot is like such a fun spot <laughs> literally such a mush for us growing up with him we would always go and he would have all his home projects and his DIY and we'd always get a drink from the vending machine walking in like I just have fun memories there as a kid and Lucy and I would like run around in there with him anyway so <laughs> we love the Home Depot and this is just so full circle and just fun that I get to work with them on this video so we're gonna do a little unboxing right here together and all of the things I ordered I will link down below in the description for you guys. I want to call out first thing. I know they have their red, white, and blue savings event going through July 10th. It's going on right now. and July 10th. So make sure you take advantage for awesome deals. Okay, first stuff. This is so exciting because I'm sure when you guys think of Home Depot, you think of just like home projects and DIYs and all the things. But I feel like people forget they have such a wide array of things on our website. So much home decor all sorts of stuff kitchen is kind of what I focused on I'm so excited right now because I'm sure you can see what this is <laughs> okay how are we getting this out <laughs> let me slowly but surely oh okay here we are this is so exciting because I've actually always wanted a baby mix and I thought about how I like put it on our wedding registry for a while but I couldn't wait any longer because I have been making smoothies like every day I'm getting back to my acai bowl era all the things so I've just been like really wanting one of these and I feel like I will get really good use out of it I also always thought they were like a billion dollars which i mean they are expensive blenders but this is like a little bit more of a affordable option like model that they have so i was really excited to find this one this is so exciting you guys here we are see because they have like bigger ones and i was like you know what that's not necessary this is like a little bit up one of their smaller ones it says right here the explorian e3 10 that helps literally i think we're gonna make a smoothie in like one second right here because i am hungry and ready to get this bad boy going this is so fun this feels like christmas morning opening new fun little kitchen appliances appliances gadgets kitchenware yeah <gasps> okay can i be careful please <laughs> i'm not new blender <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay, here we go, and then we got this little beauty manual. This is 
how this goes. Oh, and then you like do your little ass thing and then... Okay, let me put that aside. We'll crack into that in a moment. Now, let me grab this box. Okay, now this box is equally as exciting because we were in desperate need of some new pots and pans. We have like one pan that's probably five years old, losing all its nonstick. So, so excited for a new set. Woo! Okay, so I was looking through all their sets on the Home Depot website for so long because they had so many different options of like this cream color, which of course I really love. Like different sets with different options of like some had different pots and pans and you know what I mean? So I decided on this one. I am so excited to make eggs in a pan and have it not stick. <laughs> That's what I'm most excited for. Okay, I just took them all out to show you guys everything that came in this set. Ready for my pots and pans all? No, like this is literally so exciting. That's when you know you're an adult when you're so excited for new pots and pans. I can't wait to cook in these. This one in specific, I don't have one like this. When I saw this shape of, I don't even know what you call this, a uh, pot pan hybrid. I feel like I've seen people cook short ribs in this type of contraption and now I really want to make Sure, we're at home. I want to attempt. Anyway, so there's one of those two little pots. Terrific. We're always using those for whatnot. Corn, pasta, quinoa. Yeah. And then the big ones, obviously, always very helpful for even more pasta. Sweet potatoes. Regular potatoes. What have you? Some strainer. This little frying pan is going to get so much use. Well, this is the big one, and this is the little one. And they've got the lids as well. You're so excited. Okay, last, but certainly not least, we've got this bad boy, which is so big. I might have to take this out on the ground right here. Please hold until you guys see what this is. Woo, there we go. You guys, I got this air fryer toaster oven, and I'm so excited because I've never had one of these, and I've always wanted one of these. It basically does a little bit of everything, is my understanding. Since it does like air frying, toaster oven, you could literally put like a chicken in there. <laughs> like one of my girlfriends, you guys know my best friend, Taylor, in Boston, has had like a similar kind of toaster oven. And she'll, why hello brownie. <laughs> and she'll do like, you know, like little veggie burgers that are frozen, she'll throw them in there. And like, I just feel like to me it seems really convenient. You don't have to do like a whole big thing, especially if you're just cooking for yourself in the oven. Well, this was like a nice big one too. So this could probably cook for multiple people. 30 quart. I'm so excited. I might wait a second to actually open this up and figure out where we're gonna put this, make room for it on the counter. Or maybe I'll make room for it underneath in the cabinet and then pull it out when I want this bad boy. It takes a lot too. But I am so excited for this. I'm like, it's about time. I've thought about it. I've always been jealous of people that have ones like this. We've always been a, we don't even have that on the counter, type of toaster people that you just, like the slotted toaster that you put your bread in. And, but then you can't really do other things. So yeah, basically I've always wanted a toaster oven, but then I found this like air fryer toaster oven. So, so exciting. I'll have this link down below as well. Everything I showed you guys. We're gonna make a smoothie in a sec, but again, this is so exciting and I'm not gonna get emotional, but dad, I hope you're looking down on me. Very proud of me. I'm working with the Home Depot. He would literally be <laughs> elated he would be just so happy so yes all of these things i'll have linked down below in the description and don't forget the red white and blue savings event going through july 10th i think that's another package delivery you guys i get so many packages okay i'm gonna grab that and we'll be right back <laughs> okay you guys max said he doesn't think we need to read the manual no <laughs> and he requested some of a smoothie as well so Let's hope this is good. I'm gonna do my regular. We've got some banana. Want me to make it big? Sure. Okay. Yeah, do double whatever you normally do. Okay, I can do that. Normally I try to do like around the size of one banana. I try to do like about two. That looks good. 
Can I do maybe like a cup of blueberries? Sure. I make the same smoothie every time, you guys, because I'm scared of messing it up. Okay, that was like not that many at all. Alright, we're all in. Okay, that looks like a lot. That looks like a lot. Yeah, that's good. Then I usually do a little yogurt. We just put these little things. So I'll do this in there. Oh, I'm spilling. I forgot. I do some collagen. Protein powder too. I usually do like one of each, but do, uh, do half, one and a half. Of each? Okay, because there's two of us. We really are putting this to the test so we're yeah, right seriously. up. We first go. Half. And normally I do almond milk, but I might just do water because we don't have any. Like, I don't really want to do oat milk. Yeah. yeah. Like that's like I don't know. They that you never really have that in a smoothie. No, water is probably good too. Do lemonade. <laughs> I have seen people do smoothies with like lemonade or yeah. orange juice and stuff, and they look good. Get it in there. Start there. Here goes nothing. Can you use the plunger? I guess so. What if I don't have this on right? This is not right. Yeah. This way, how do I know? Yeah, yeah. It's on a little bit. This is why I'm gonna need to read the manual. Well, it's a blender. It's not a rocket ship. It's not gonna explode everywhere. I'm nervous. You gonna start on zero? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Whoa! Look at go. You gotta get the plunger. Okay, I'm scared to do that while it's on. You think I can do it while it's on? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we definitely need more liquid. Because mm. it's a lot of frozen. Yeah. Fruit. Okay. Guys, look at this thing. You go like this here. Why don't we turn it down a little? And it's like golden. Woo! Okay, first time using the new blender. A success. I guess we're about to see how it tastes. I guess I did a lot of water. I guess I didn't need to make it that thin, but I was scared that it was going to be too thick. Looks great. Oh, look, it's all blended. Because I always get scared, you know, other blenders, Chunks. sometimes a big chunk of a banana comes out. Mm -hmm. This is all blended perfect. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Best smoothie you've ever made. Tell them how you washed it. Pretty cool. Drop of soap. Mmm. Cheers. Oh, yeah, you like doing it. Mm. Do you want to on the top? Make like an acai. Mm-hmm. This is the best. Julia Elizabeth. You guys know my fave. Mm-hmm. 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 Very good. <clears throat> Nothing like a pre-dinner moosey. Mm-hmm. It always happens I get into the afternoon. And then it's late and I get on lunch and I like make a smoothie quick. <laughs> mm -hmm. To tie me over until dinner. We can do dinner later tonight. Yeah. After your tings. I know, I feel like in the summer I like eating at like 8. Anyway, because it stays sunny until then. Mm. You know? Yeah, it's a little late, but yeah. We thought about pickleball tonight. Mm -mm. But. Too tired. Yeah, I'm feeling tired from the run. <laughs> and Max went back to. Did we have tea? Back we'll to the tea. gym. First time. Tell us what. Oh, you said you did bike sprints. Like the entire time. Really? No way. That's all I did. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like bike sprint. Like, are they mm -hmm. like 30 seconds on? Like what? No, five minutes. As hard as you can? No, five minutes. To see how far you go? Or? No, just keep my heart rate at a certain level. Like what's your heart, like you want to be in certain zones? Like 150 and then 170. Yeah. yeah. And I ran, I looked down at the end, 190. Yeah, I didn't get up that high today. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> but in the beginning, I was trying to be like one sixties, mm. you know. Wow. Done my protein smoothie after my workout. You um flew through that. Also, I was gonna say to them, I don't know if I'm ready to rehash the whole thing right now. No, we might need to save that for later. I haven't told them. I I bet. About last night. Mm -hmm. I think I might make a TikTok about it. They're gonna be like, you guys are dumb. <laughs> well, how would anyone know what to do? Uh, now we know. Yeah. Well, it's just startling. It's like. Yeah. Long now story we're, short. Now we're a cliffhanger. Well, we can just oh. long story short, and then I can 
Mm. Give them more detail mm -hmm. later. But long story short, we woke up at 3 a.m. to every single fire alarm in the house. Yep. Going off. <laughs> yeah. I and I was startling. thinking, oh, just pull it, pull it down. But they were all going off. So it wouldn't, uh, how would we have known? Oh, like how when one goes off when you like burn the bacon, you just click the button, you mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, that wasn't making them go off. No. That wasn't making it shut Or off. like how they, when they you came, take it off. they took it off. But how would we have known? Because they were all going off. Remember? Remember they were like, oh, we could tell because... A certain one that started yeah. it. Why don't you tell them your first reaction, what you said? Well, I was half asleep. I don't even know what I <laughs> you, said. You don't remember saying this? No. <laughs> Poor thing. I could tell you were too. It wasn't like a, you're fully awake, like panicking. Like we wake up and are like, I'm immediately like, what's going on? Like I felt like I was dreaming. I thought it was your I would alarm like going off at first. Panicking. No, you were not. Just the first thing you said made me be like, okay, I'm going to be staying calm here, taking the reins. But then we both were being good. But guys, this is, I'm like, what's happening? Wow, loud, loud noise. Brody's up. What's like a lot's going on. I almost feel like you woke up before me. I don't know. It was probably weird at the same time. It was probably instinct because it was so freaking loud. I literally, after like four or five minutes in here, I'm like, I'm about to have mm -hmm. permanent hearing damage. Mm -hmm. oh my God. But. What I'm trying to get at is Max looks at me and goes, what do we do? <laughs> but I could tell it was his half asleep state. I don't recall saying that, so that doesn't count. Because normally, not normally, but normally if I stay up later than you, you're known to sleep talk. And you have a certain like way that you sound and look and stuff. And that's kind of always like you look at me and you're like, what do we do? And I was like, okay. Well, what do we do? I didn't even know. I didn't know what to do. Okay, we'll that figure it out. Accurate. So, you know, why don't I just finish telling you? Okay, so then I'm like, what do we do? So I feel like I immediately, I feel like I, I'm very proud of myself. I'd like to think I stayed like calm and I can be very like logical and practical. I'm like, okay, every fire alarm's going off. Don't smell smoke. Don't feel anything hot. Open our door, not hot. Like look around, nothing is on fire. I feel like I knew immediately, I'm like nothing's on fire. Yeah. We come down, we go upstairs, nothing's on fire. We come down here, nothing, nothing's hot, nothing's on fire. Like no smoke. So we were like just so confused because we're like, what's going on? Like why are all of these going off? There's nothing, okay. So then, this is so bad, I don't even wanna like say it out loud. Put it into the universe. But then my brain obviously goes to the worst thing possible and I don't even know if this is a thing that you could do to a home, but maybe, I don't know. But I swear I've heard of scary stories, you guys know what I'm talking about, where someone bad with bad intentions goes into like a public place like a mall or school, I don't know, pulls the fire alarm because they want people to come outside to like lure people outside to harm them, rob, whatever. So maybe that was like me being overly cautious, but I looked at every camera in our house first before we went outside. I'm like, okay. I want to be careful, know what we're walking into if we're going outside, if someone's outside of our home, like whatever. No one's outside. That was a little overcut. No, but do you, because you haven't heard the stories that I've heard in the news. Do you? Yeah. We'll talk about it. Okay. We also don't live in a dangerous situation. No, but, but. <laughs> so we go outside. Thank God. I throw Brody's collar and leash on. I'm like, let's go. Because Brody's shaking at this point. Like, literally quivering. And I miss, when I'm looking at the cameras and I'm upstairs and whatever, what I miss is Max said that Brody was at the top of the stairs. And he was just looking at down the no, stairs. No, he was laying down in a... The fetal position basically. No, like shaking whatever. So yeah. Max said he picked him up and carried him downstairs. Yeah. I mean when I come downstairs, he's like quivering. I'm like, okay, we gotta get outside. Coast is clear. We go outside. I'm like, thank God my ears. Brody is like calming down. And we're like, what do we do? These things won't turn off. So I'm looking up the fire department phone number and Max is like, I think you just called 911. Which actually they did tell us that is what you do when they're all going off. Because I was like, I don't want to do that if that's not, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. 911 has other important things to deal yeah. with. Like, I didn't want to call them if we weren't supposed to. That's not what you're supposed to do. Call 911. They send the fire and rescue people. I don't know. And they come, like, right away in an ambulance, which is funny. I'm sure they could come in an ambulance or a fire truck. I feel like they're all interconnected. And they, like, go through the whole house. They're like, everything's good. And they found the one fire smoke detector fire alarm that had set all the other ones off like they could tell that that's the one that started it and then it's actually right here <laughs> they took it off the ceiling and somehow that made all the other ones turn off or did they have to go around to all the other ones to turn them off no I or once they, they disconnected yeah, this one they slowly one by one started went off. off yeah and they said I actually wonder, we should like look in this. They said it's kind of common and most commonly a spider can like crawl into one of these and set it off. Or if it's like really humid, which it has been so humid outside, 
but not inside. So that doesn't really make sense to me, but they said they think that's what it is. And he tried to reset this and he put the battery back in and raised and put it back in. We're like standing out in the driveway at 3 a.m. It starts going off again. So he's like, okay, no, you just need to get a new one. So we need to do that. But imagine our surprise, 3 a.m. And then we were like, it was like literally on the dot. So we were like, it was something programmed. Was it our security camera? Like what is happening? But that was just wild and the adrenaline <laughs> was on. I was so awake and so alert. I didn't even tell you what I did for the next two hours. So what's crazy is from us awaking to them like leaving and it being resolved was probably the course of like 20 minutes. Like it went by, it was so quick, mm -hmm. you know? But it was just obviously such a startling kind of scary thing. So yeah, from like three to 320, then they're gone and we're like, okay, let's try to like go back to bed now that our heart rate's through the roof. I was up until almost 6 a.m. And I was just brainstorming stuff for our wedding and like making notes on my phone because my brain was like so awake. So that happened. That was a crazy story. And we were just texting our family today. We're like, you won't believe what happened at our house last night. They were like, what in the heck? And then I started to feel, I feel like I was gassing myself. Before they came, I'm like, oh my gosh, we probably didn't change the batteries well enough or soon enough, like swap them out. But they always like beep at you when they're starting to get low, right? Like you have like a beepy thing. Cause I remember that in our apartments before, it would like beep at us here and there and we'd have to change the batteries and that was not happening at all. So that's not the case. And it has the voice that's like fire, mm -hmm. fire. And you're just like, oh my God, you're like so scared. So that was last night. That's our story. <laughs> There's every last detail I said, I'll just tell you quick. What else am I forgetting? We were calm, cool and collected. Mm -hmm. Once we got outside and weren't in the chaos of inside, it being so loud just makes you like, oh, the only thing we were scared of, we didn't check is, I mean, we could see into the garage, so it was good, but I started to forget when we were outside that maybe like something in the basement was on fire or something that set it off, and we just didn't look down there. And I wanted to go inside to check, but then the girl on the phone on 911 was like, stay outside when you get outside. I'm like, should we go grab our personal belongings? <laughs> but no, it's all good. That was that, has that, has anything like that happened to you guys? I've never heard of that happening. Mm -hmm. Only them going off if you like burn bacon or have the shower get really steamy or you know, things like that, but not from like literally nothing. So anyway, I wonder if there's like a spider in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's all your fault, buddy. You woke us up, threw me in. Good morning, it's the next morning and I'm so excited to be using my new pan right now. Oh my gosh ignore how dirty our stovetop is this is so exciting <laughs> okay i just did some salt and pepper and the fact that these just slide around like it's so non-stick whenever you use an old pan and it sticks so bad it's like been the most frustrating thing so this is like making my morning <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even trade my breakfast. I wanted to and then I scarfed it down in like two seconds. It was so good. Whenever I'm like, eh, nothing sounds good or I don't know, I try to stick with the basics. I'll do like peanut butter, banana toast or I'll do like, I literally just did two over easy eggs, toast. Sometimes I get like, not sick of avocado toast, but sometimes it's just a lot. At least how I make it, I load it up with trap and like hot honey and all that type of stuff. So anyway, just made my ice vanilla latte. So good, I haven't put it in this cup in a while. This is my Table Rock little mug, shout out, best management ever. But I love this cup from them with the lid and the straw. It just, I don't know, tastes extra good. Yum. I should have showed you guys, but I was like nervous to film, so I didn't. I actually, for the first time, did, you guys know my bestie, Sydney Adams, did one of her bridal boot camp workouts since she just released that program. And... I was thinking about filming, but I was too nervous. And it's made for the gym. I actually think she might be coming out with a home one too, or has a home version of the bridal camp as well. But I did the gym one, but I just modified a little bit at the end for like certain ones that you would need gym equipment. I just like did like an at home version. And I'm gonna be so sorry, we're not gonna be able to walk tomorrow. It was so good. And I was too nervous to film. This is my first time I do. <laughs> like, 
film having bad form or not knowing what to do. We did some split squats. Oh my gosh, I literally was dripping sweat on my mat. I'm like, I cannot do, that's like so hard for me. The beginning started off pretty like simple. I'm like, I got this and then it got hard. But anyway, I have to jump on a call in like literally two minutes. So I'm gonna drink this. Good morning. Sorry I didn't film the rest of yesterday. All it was was Stanley Cup game seven. That was crazy, I didn't really watch. Max was watching, but yeah, that's like all you missed. I'm about to lay in the sun this afternoon and I'm just freaking out over our hydrangeas. You guys, every day I come out here, more and more have bloomed and I didn't even know that any more could bloom. Look at these. They're just like absolutely insane how big they get right here. I feel like they bloom more and more. One day they're gonna be like out to here <laughs> covering our whole patio. Like, wow, wow, wow. It is so freaking hot out. I'm like hiding my feet in the shade sitting on the patio. The sun is like burning my toes. <laughs> also have to show you guys, I'm wearing this cute new cover up I got recently from Princess Polly. If you saw a recent video of mine, this is like my new fave. I think this is so cute. I literally would like wear this to dinner. I would find a way to like, style it a little cash like this little button down shorts i like it because it's very like loose oversized fitting i don't like cover-ups that are like tight you know this is just like so comfy and cute it's later we're styling outfits for new york join me i feel like whenever i've shared this before before trips kind of packing and putting outfits together you guys like that it's helpful am i making this up do we enjoy this i don't know normally i'm like packing in a mad dash panicking so i think this kind of makes it more fun for me it makes me like slow down and be like okay is this good together do i actually like this so here we go first up wait did i already say i'm going to new york the next two days with sydney again so excited it's gonna be so much fun but it's gonna be 93 freaking degrees tomorrow and so hot and sunny and i feel like in new york city that's even hotter than if it was like 93 here because there's no breeze you're just like in the city on the pavement with like the heat coming off the ground anyway so i basically found the lightest weight clothing i own this kind of reminds me when i was packing for italy last summer because max and i went during the heat wave and it was actually even hotter it was like 107 every day and we were like holy moly unwell so yeah i did a lot of like strapless dresses and stuff like that i just got this yellow tube top from princess Polly, and i'm loving it i think it's so cute and so fun and so summer it's just like a knit yellow and white striped little tube top so i'm like okay we'll do that and i really just want to be comfy like i have denim shorts and stuff that maybe would look better but i got these white little boxer style shorts from 11 11. maybe you think they look pj like pjs maybe they're not your style but to me i just think they're so fun i love that these are the style right now and i just need something like lightweight and breezy and something that will keep me cool so i think this is okay something's throwing me off i think i just feel like a five-year-old with the yellow and the blue but i kind of like the pops of color i kind of feel like that's fun i feel like with like a jack or something over it would kind of pull it together better but mm, i'm not gonna be able to do that it's gonna be so hot so yeah i think we're just gonna do this my blue sambas i could do my white and pink ones but i think like i've been wearing those every day every outfit i wear every time i've been in new york and boston this summer so i think i'm gonna do the blue and kind of lean into the colorful so that will be fun i also think i'm gonna bring this tote bag i guess it'll depend how much i'm carrying with hi oh hi what's up i didn't know you <laughs> yeah. i just woke up <laughs> <laughs> you seem tired <laughs> oh your shadow is following so i might do this during the day especially if i want to like carry some stuff with me or I've got this I think this is the other bag I'll bring. okay I'm already liking this better I feel like this is more the vibe kind of goes better I think this is always fun when I get to try an outfit with you guys try different shoes and bags with the outfits because I feel like I can just see what fits better yeah this is good run around lap around during the day this is probably exactly how my hair will be in a clip too okay outfit one done it's only two days so hopefully this is quick and not too painful <laughs> okay Thursday day is 86 degrees. So I think I'm gonna do this new blue Skims tee that I haven't even worn yet. I'm very excited. White linen button down, maybe just as an option over top. Probably won't even need that. Little denim shorts to go with. And my blue sambas. Again, to just keep packing simple. Okay, where were we? Just took a brief intermission and was chatting with Max downstairs. But this might be a little crazy for dinner tomorrow night but i've been wanting to be used to wear this dress i ordered on revolve and it's just like 
fun open back. I think it's casual because it's like flowy and linen. Definitely gonna need to bring my steamer. It's getting a bit wrinkled. Like the drop waist, is it like too much? Is it kind of a lot? I think it's not that flattering on me, the drop waist. Also, I'll say it ran, runs so big. I got a medium, had to return out with swimming in it, and this is a small, and I still feel like I'm not an extra small, but I feel like I just want it to be like a little tighter in the middle, you know, since it's like, I don't know. Not that but I just still feel like it's such a cute dress and style and yeah, I'm really repurposing this bag in every way for every outfit. I can throw in these little slides. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, I'm texting Sydney in real time and she was like, no, it's not too crazy and the flats go with really well and kind of make it more cash. But I might just throw this in there too. I feel like this is like a foolproof flowy little floral maxi that I got in Italy last summer. And I think I've dressed this up at weddings, could dress it down for dinner, a little more chill, versatile. I've got room. I'll throw this in. It's later. I should have showed them dinner. We ate it too quick. I know, and you did such a good job. You guys, it's kind of like how this morning I should have filmed doing Sydney's workout, but I just needed to like test the waters. It was my first one of this mm -hmm. program. That was like, Max, we just had to test the waters doing this type of preparation of steak for the first time. Reverse sear. It was so good. It was very good. Like I ate probably five servings of steak. <laughs> we so, so got two Brody. huge steaks and we ended up giving Brody some because we had literally so much. He did a New York strip and a ribeye and if you want to know what a reverse sear is, he cooked it in the oven at 200 degrees, like so low, mm -hmm. for an hour. You flip them halfway, and then you throw them on the grill for like a couple minutes at the end. Like, not, I didn't even do it two minutes. On each side. Mm -hmm. Really? You literally just char the outside because mm -hmm. the inside's like already cooked, and then it has like a grill kind of flavor. And you just do salt and pepper, and it was so good. It was good. It was really yeah. good. Green beans and garlic bread. Oh, that was like the best dinner ever. I just love a simple dinner and now we're at pickleball Woo. <laughs> come, come on, on. brody's just been walking himself this whole time <laughs> just roaming around also you guys look what happened look who so graciously hit my thumbnail that don't, sounds like a thumbnail for a YouTube video. Yeah. But actually, my thumbnail, the nail of my thumb, broke right off when the ball hit it, which is my own fault. You see that? Max was like, you're not supposed to hit it with your thumb. I said I wasn't trying to. I went like this, but then the ball came up too high and hit my thumb and broke off the nail. Oops. Sorry. And I said I wasn't trying to hit it like that. I have best. bad hand-eye coordination. I had extra bad tonight. Like there were multiple times we're not playing on a real court. that I would swing and I would miss. Yeah, we came to a new court tonight. We like our other ones better. I'll blame it on that. All right, it is so late right now. You would never know. It's so bright in here. I don't mind. I was trying to dress, but leaving in the morning for New York. So gonna end up this vlog here. Sorry if it's a shorter one. I feel like we've been a little shorter. I don't know. I also yeah, up a lot, so maybe not. I just gotta file it. Maybe I'll make it into an oval shape and then you won't notice that it's broken that much. It'll just be shorter than the rest. I guess the thumb's better than these ones. Then these are all still the same length, at least. Anyway, ending of this vlog here. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. See you in New York. That's gonna be such a fun vlog with Sydney. Love ya. Bye.